Rush, to ask about the cause of religious belief can be emotional and controversial, and I don't want to go there. Where I, what I want to do is to try to discern some scientific things that we can say and look for those kinds of, of things. Uh, you've done work on inner experience and really finding out what people feel inside in a scientific way. Have you dealt with people who are religious uh, and how do their inner experiences um, uh, relate to a common population? Well, I've never actually set out to investigate a, a religious population. I think that would be a very interesting thing to do. I have not, not gotten around to do it. I have sampled with some people who are very religious. And of, of that group, some of them, it, it, makes, it makes the sampling task, it makes the exploration of, of inner experience very difficult, if not impossible. Because they seem to be so involved with or wrapped up with or whatever in the religious beliefs that no matter what it is that I ask about inner experience, they will tell me about some religious aspect. And it's, and, and it's, it's very difficult for me. So, so mu much of the work that I do is, is to try to focus people on what their experience is and not about sort of the background or the context or whatever. And at the moment. At the moment, that's right. So, I'm, so I'm, interested in, I'm interested in the moment, and I want you to tell me what your experience was at the moment. But, but some people who have very s serious religious beliefs, either they're always talking, thinking, yeah. involved with their religious beliefs, or every time I ask a question, they're going to give me a religious belief answer. And because very, they think that's the appropriate way to conduct themselves? I don't know the answer to that. What I know is that for some people, it's very difficult, or if not impossible, for me to break through that. Uh, what's and, an example? You, you, you ask somebody what they're thinking about a specific moment, and you want them to say... And they, they, they say they were praying about something or other. Yeah. And then I ask it another, and they say they were praying about something. And they might be driving out of their garage or something like that, but, but, they're, but the... The answer is, I was praying about something, uh, and and maybe that's true. So it, it's possible that they spend their entire waking life praying about something, which yeah. I'm I'm not taking I'm not taking into a stand on whether that is true or not. But for for the the couple of people that I have in mind, it is so thoroughly every the answer to every question is I was praying about this. It, it makes you wonder whether, they're, whether, whether they have altered their inner experience or their inner experiences in such a way that they don't have anything to say other than I was praying, or whether their self-concept, whatever that is, is so... Has, has in, to report everything as if they were as praying. As if they were praying, that's right. Uh, but, but in either case, in those examples, religion has a very dominant uh, part of their conscious experience. That's correct. Either way. Right. Whatever. So I've sampled with, I've sampled with another, a, a number of people, and my, and my method is what I call iterative. It has to go over day after day after day where, where we try to refine the ability to, mm -hmm. to pay attention to experience. And I've gotten to the end of 10 multiple days and, and with the same kind, of, same kind of responses. Maybe that's the way the experience is, but it, it, are those uh, uh, exceptions uh, uh, in, in terms of people who are religious believers, or, or is that more characteristic of the, the genre? I don't think I know enough to answer that question. I, I have sampled with some people who are very religious. I don't, ask, I don't set out to ask people. I don't ask people up front, are you very oh, religious? Right. So some, somebody could be very religious, and I would never know it. Right. Sometimes I know it because you know you find out these things, but uh, and 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 for most of them, they will sometimes have a religious thought, and other times they will be thinking about whether they should have a ham sandwich for lunch. Right. Uh, but then there is this other group, which the answer to every question has something to do with prayer. Uh, does that give you any sense of the um, the nature of religious belief or? power of religious thought to dominate your mind, why that would be the case? Can you discern anything uh, deeper than that? What, why, is, why does religion have that kind of power? Or, or are there other things that have a similar power? The, the kind of an obsessive focus on something? Or does religion have a special power in that direction? 
I wish I knew the answer to that question. I don't. Well, I, you've it, sampled over your career hundreds and hundreds of people, I would assume. That's correct. Right. And, and when you see this um, kind of monomaniacal focus on a topic, you've seen that in, in other cases other than religion, I would assume. Some people are so fixated on, I don't know, washing their hands, or they're always thinking about washing their hands, or that's very rare. I would say most people who think they're fixating on washing their hands aren't really fixated. So, so if we w went to the obsessive compulsive, right. I, I, I not too long ago sample wrote about a guy that that uh, uh, said I, I engage in an inner arguments. I'm arguing with myself all the time. 100% of the time when I'm awake, I'm arguing with myself, and it's terrible. I, I hate it. Yeah. Well, we sampled with him, and, and over the course of a half a dozen days of sampling, I think we found 4% of his times where he was actually arguing with yeah. himself. Well, he gave up the, his view of himself that's, as arguing with good. himself. But, and, and so he said, well, I was mistaken about that. The religious person that, uh, that I've been talking about never, never came to to that. I, I think he came to understand that we, naming, namely me, was incapable of understanding what... Uh, now, was that what just one was case, or were there several that have some similar characteristics who are deeply religious? We've had a couple, and they happen to have come into a study of uh, bipolar disorder, but I... The numbers are too small for me to want to generalize about that. If I had to guess, I would say that these people have no inner experience, that, and that, and and that, that's true of some people with obsessive compulsive disorder as well. That there's just no inner experience, and so, in instead of reporting, I don't have any inner experience. What they report is I was praying. Oh, oh. but I'm put that down yeah. in the wild speculation category. Okay. Okay.